Hello and welcome to this Facebook Live interview with Scotland head coach Gregor Townsend in the national team changing room here at BT Murrayfield. Once again, Gregor, thanks for joining us. It's the 2018 NatWest Six Nations, a tournament you know well from your playing days for Scotland. Just quickly, what memories as a player stand out for you in this competition? Oh, there's lots. I think um, playing at Murrayfield, at BT Murrayfield, is is a highlight. Um, Six Nations is a is a different tournament. It's it's a brilliant event around the weekend. It's a very intense, emotional, passionate game uh, when you get to play. Um, it's ultimate for, for players in the Northern Hemisphere um, as a championship. Um, so yeah, lo lots of good memories um, uh, and some not so good as well. And the, the first game of the, uh, the Six Nations um, back in 2000 when we lost Italy is probably a poor memory. The last game of the, the Five Nations away to France is probably the, the best memory. And now you're going to experience it as, as head coach of Scotland. How excited are you for, for this challenge? Yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait to, to be working with the players again. Uh, it's been a couple of months since uh, we worked with them in November. Uh, we got to know them pretty well. Uh, we got to see how they developed as players, as a team. Uh, we saw individuals grab opportunities uh, and we can't wait to see that happen again. You've chosen your squad for the 2018 tournament. Um, obviously a challenging process for you as a coach to to narrow that squad down, but just talk us through the, the selection you, you've made. Yeah, well, f first of all, we've um, chosen a, a bigger squad than we probably originally planned. Uh, a large part of that's to do with the, the competition for places, the, the performances of our players in November, the performances of players um, before the, the, the Six Nations starts, and also some of our players that missed November coming back. Uh, also, we, we believe that um, because of the physical nature of this tournament and uh, the fact that um, players in uh, the Premiership in England and also the, the Guinness Pro 14 won't be playing next weekend. We can have a really robust training and um, put us in a, in a very good place going into the tournament. So having 40 players really allows us to do that. Um, but it, it was a difficult selection. There's some excellent players that have missed out, uh, players that we will be watching throughout the tournament, uh, playing for the clubs to see uh, if they do come back into the squad because of, of form or because of injuries that we might pick up. First game away from home, it's, it's Wales, um, a difficult fixture that you know yourself from experience playing down there um, in 2000 and, and 2002. Um, what do you expect from Wales? Uh, what do we made them in the autumn? And what does Scotland need to do to get a good result on the opening weekend? Well, Wales are always a very physical team. They have um, a way of defending that is, that is aggressive. They have a lot of numbers in the front line. Um, and defence has been a big part of what they've done uh, throughout the last 10 years when, when they've had a lot of success. Uh, they've won the, the Six Nations title, they've won Grand Slams during that period. Playing at home uh, is a huge boost for them to start the, the championship. Uh, it's a brilliant um, occasion for, for us to go down there to play in uh, that, that stadium is, is, is wonderful in terms of the atmosphere. We know there'll be lots of Scottish supporters there, um, so we can't wait to get get started, uh, but we know how tough a challenge it'll be. Wales have evolved their game. Uh, we saw a different way or different style of play that was getting uh, developed in the November series. They passed the ball more than any other team in the top 10 in, uh, in world rugby. So it'll be interesting to see if they continue that against us. And we've got two home games here again at BT Murrayfield. You, you touched on it in the autumn about how good the atmosphere was for, for the three fixtures here. Um, how important is it that we, that we replicate that and we get the crowd going and in, in, in the atmosphere here at BT Murrayfield? So yeah, that'd be great. And I know there's huge interest in, in those two home fixtures against France and England. Uh, so I'm sure uh, there'll be sellouts like they were in November. Uh, they're, they're great games for us. I think playing France at home, the, the Scotland-France fixture has traditionally been a, a game that's been very entertaining. Uh, France are a very dangerous side. We Both teams get um, an extra day's recovery because it's a Sunday game. Uh, and then to follow that up with our next game being at home as well against England, that, that's the fixture for, for any Scottish supporter to, to take on the English. Uh, and we, we know we'll have to be very good uh, for both those games as well as our opening game against Wales. Gregor, thank you again for your time here at BT Murrayfield. And to everyone watching on Facebook, thank you for watching.